Well, good morning. Yes, it is Tuesday morning and uh, we're heading into a new day. And remember, this is what I'm speaking about. I can, don't can it, use it. Yes, remember this. I can, so don't can it, use it. Use that what God has given you. Use the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ that dwells inside of you to overcome the onslaught of the enemy. Now today, I want to speak to you. Open your can in Christ you can. <laughs> Come on, yes. You need to open that can because in Christ you can. You can do all things. Now listen, uh, Philippians 4 verse 12, uh, Paul writes this, and I want you to listen to what he writes. He says, I know what it is, I know what it is to be in need. So, so he knew th that when he faced difficult times, he knew the needs that he had, and yet he did not allow that what he needed to distract him from God, who is his strength. He goes on to say, and he says, and I know what it is to have plenty. So there was need and there was plenty. I think we've all gone through that. But yet he says this, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. He knew where his strength was found. You see, Paul faced many trials and tribulations during his life's journey, but never do we hear him complaining of God being unfair. Do you know that? You can go and read all the, the letters of Paul wrote, everything that Paul wrote, we find that he, he was shipwrecked. We find that he was beaten. He will find that he was imprisoned. We, we even know that at one time a snake bit him. <laughs> and he just shook it off into the fire. And he put his faith and his trust in God because he knew that he could do all things through Christ who was and is his strength. You see, instead of complaining, he turns to his followers and declares that in verse 13. And he says, I can do all things through Christ my strength. Where did he find his strength? In whom did he put his strength in? He put his faith and his trust in God. You see, to be able to face the present onslaught of the enemy, our strength must come from Christ alone, who knew how to rely upon God, his Father, for his strength when he needed to go to the cross. And so again, you see, Paul saw the life of Jesus. He looked at what Jesus went through and what he had to face. And Paul said, well, if Christ could face that what he faced, my, my, my trials and tribulations are nothing in comparison to that of what Jesus faced for me to give me life, to give me eternal life, not just daily life, not just a life tomorrow, not just the life that I'm living today, but to give me eternal life. Jesus faced death upon a cross. He took on the sin of humanity. Can you imagine that? And Paul reminded himself again of what Jesus took upon himself and said, man, I can do it because Christ is my strength. Now remember this, as Jesus sat in the garden leading up to his arrest, knowing what he was about to take on, he asked the Father for another way. Now, again, uh, I always thought about this, and why did he want to shift it? Because he knew that there would come a time upon the cross, as he hung upon that cross, that Father God would not be able to look upon him because of the sin that he would become for humanity. He knew that there would be a time that Father would have to turn his face away from him and say, Father, is there any other way that we could do this? Because I do not want to spend one second outside of of you. I want you to be with me all the way. And then he goes on to say it. He said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. Now, you need to keep in mind that Jesus was both fully man and fully God and could have turned away from the cross, which would have meant that humanity would have remained lost and alienated from God. And this he did not want to happen. Instead, he wanted humanity to find their way back to God, find their way back into the presence of God. And he said, Father, if, if you're going to be looking away from me for that one second, 
I know that you will not leave me in the grave. <laughs> I will know that you will not leave me nor forsake me, that you will always be with me, so your will be done. And as a result of that, we know Jesus went to the cross. And Paul reminded himself, just as what we need to remind ourselves daily, that God is for us. You, you see, instead, Jesus looks back, looks at the task, and says, not my will, but your will. You see, again, because we need to put our faith and our trust in who I can find my strength in. <laughs> you see, I can find my strength in no other than Christ Jesus alone. And so why not put your strength and your faith in Him and become the one that I can do all things through Christ who is my strength. Mm -hmm.